My name is Brianna Abrams. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biology at the University of Washington. We're in beautiful Botswana in the Okavango Delta. My lab's research vision is to understand the causes and the consequences of wildlife responses to global change. And we can use that information to then apply that to conservation. Here in Botswana, we're really interested in how climate change in particular is affecting the ecosystem here. So we're studying African wild dogs for a few reasons. First, they're just an incredibly charismatic and interesting species to study. They have a very complex social behavior. They live and breed together in packs. They raise their young cooperatively. They're also one of the most endangered carnivores in Africa and actually one of the most endangered mammals in the, on the planet. So they are threatened by habitat fragmentation, by disease transmission, and by conflict with people. So there's also this urgent conservation need to learn more about what their threats are and how to mitigate those threats. And then lastly, there's an incredible long-term data set that we have on African wild dogs through my collaboration with Botswana Predator Conservation. So BPC has been collecting data on wild dogs since 1989. So it's just this gold mine of information that we can extract and learn more about how climate change is impacting top predators in the system and also how we can help to alleviate that threat. Our research has shown that the climate impacts a range of different things like carnivore behavior, such as when the time of day that carnivores are active or what habitats they use, the timing of reproduction, and even reproductive success. If you can't alleviate something as kind of big and broad as climate change, we need to be focusing our efforts on alleviating other threats to them. One of the major threats to carnivores in the system is human-wildlife conflict. Just outside of this area are a, a number of different villages where livestock production is an important part of the local economy. Carnivores, at times and under certain conditions, can prey upon livestock. It's a huge issue for people's livelihoods and for public health. It's also an issue for carnivore conservation because frequently people will retaliate by either shooting them, putting out snares, various ways of trying to reduce the carnivore population. And that puts all the more urgency on trying to find solutions to alleviate this kind of conflict. With climate change, this problem is actually increasing. For example, we know from anecdotal reports that during times of drought, that we see increased livestock loss due to carnivore predation. But why does that happen? Is that because natural prey are depleted? Is it because people are doing anything differently, like raising their livestock in areas closer to where predators live? And so that's an area that we're working on. What are the core underlying sources of this conflict so we can pinpoint the best ways of targeting conservation interventions?